Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. During these uncertain times, both Dirt Farmer Maggie and I wish you the very best. And we hope that the self-reliant skills that you enjoy are serving you, your family, and your community well. Today, we're gonna teach you a new little technique. Have you ever had these little bags that come with rice and you know products that you, like chicken feed or sometimes uh, flour etc trying to get these chain stitches undone if you ever botched it up or been really frustrated i'm going to show you a quick trick that you will get it right every single time no fuss no muss stay tuned all right many times you will see products like this that are sealed with what's called a chain stitch. There's usually some kind of crepe paper that is put over the top edge of this bag and then a stitch is put through here. Now the problem is where do you start on these stitches? If you pull it in the wrong place it's going to turn into a knotted mess or it won't come undone and it gets frustrating and I've seen people just get really frustrated and take their utility knife and slice the bag or try to cut it open. But there's no need for that because once you know the secret, then you forever will get this right time after time. Now, real quickly before I do that, I wanna let you know that there's two types of stitches like this and both of them are used in industry, one for consumer grade brands like this or products like this. This is called an ISO 101 stitch and you'll see that is a single stitch across the front and then if you turn on the back you can see there there's a little chain stitch that goes through this. The ISO 101 stitch uses a single thread or string that is looped around itself and it's all one string. The ISO 401 stitch uses two strings. One in the back is the backer to loop through, one in the front, and this is used for heavy duty applications, bulk bags, large bags for manufacturing raw materials, and so forth. Generally speaking, you and I are gonna run into the one-on-one stitch. And once you understand how to undo it, then you've got it. All right, well, let's look and see, as we said right off, there's two parts to this. You'll see the single stitch side, and you'll see the chain stitch side. The first thing you need to do, get this right, is place the bag so that the single stitch is towards you and the double stitch is away from you. So it's towards me, but uh, on the double stitch, single stitch on the front. An easy way to remember this is one, two. One is closest to you, two is away from you. So this is the first step you do, is orient the back like that. The second thing is you may read from left to right, but you turn the page right to left. So you're always gonna start on this corner over here because you're gonna turn the page on your past of not knowing how to open these. You're gonna always know you're gonna turn one, two towards you, put the right hand edge over here and you're gonna start in this corner to undo it. Any of the other four edges or, corner, or other three edges, excuse me, here, here, or here are incorrect. It's the front right on the single stitch side. Now, once you reach around, and you can see right here, this is starting to come undone right here. If I pull the tape on the front, here, I'm gonna show you that real quick. If I pull that tape on the front, you can see the string come through and watch what happens as I pull it. One at a time, it's gonna just let go. And then let's just go ahead we're gonna pull this right like this and look what happens. The whole hem tape comes out. There was just a protector piece that helped seal this all together. There was what the chain was. And now you have an open bag that's ready to go and Dirt Farmer Maggie will simply pour this off into gallon jars so we can enjoy that rice another day. Did I just get lucky on this or 
Did this really work? Well, let's look at another product and see if that really works. Here we have a bag of Purina layer pellets. And if you stack this up, you'll notice that it's got the chain stitching here as well. Towards me, there's the double chain. On your side is the single. Well, so that we're not confused about my right, your left, and so forth. I'm gonna come around that side and Dirt Farmer Maggie's gonna take the video across my shoulder so we're both looking at the same thing from the same vantage point to eliminate any further confusion. Okay, here we go. All right, so as you can see here, I've oriented the bag and notice that they've made it on the front of the bag. They put the single stitch to the front and there's the chain stitch on the back. That's not always gonna be the case. The real thing is just always put the single to the front. Again, we don't start to the left and go to the right. We're turning the page. So we're gonna take from the right and go to the left. And notice that a lot of places are now beginning to say this. To open, pull the narrow tape while holding the wide tape. Over on this corner, that instruction does not appear on the left, on the back over here, Oh, over here. It's only appearing on the front right corner of the single tape side. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens. Now, if this is wadded up, you can take your utility knife. There we go. It's already starting to let go. We're just going to hold on to the tape and I'm going to pull the back right here. Look at that. So the next time you get one of these bags, you're not going to be intimidated by it. You always know one, two, single chain to the front, double chain to the back, go to the right and pull to the left and it'll come undone. If you've got another tip like this that's very helpful to other viewers, why don't you write it in the uh, comments below and I'll make sure to give you credit for it on screen. And if you found this to be helpful, won't you like the video and better yet, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us to keep producing great video about in the kitchen, out in the garden, in the shop, and great product reviews. And it really helps the community to build, especially during these times when we need to count on each other more now than ever. Be kind out there. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.